You can pick up your activity supply kit in the children's room. There's a couple of pieces of paper and a paper straw. You'll also need a few other supplies, a pencil, masking tape, and scissors. Draw a simple star shape on one of the pieces of paper. Then using your scissors, you're going to cut both pieces of paper at the same time so that you have two identical stars. Here I show you exactly what those two stars will look like. Restack them and then tape all around the outer edge of both stars. Carefully peel it up and fold the tape over so that you create a complete seal around the entire edge of the stars. You can add extra tape at some of the corners to reinforce them. Draw small diamonds at the intersections of the arms and the body of the sea star. This is where it's going to be moving. To make it easier to cut the diamond shapes out through both layers of paper, fold the arm down and then cut those little notches out. You should end up with a little hole that goes all the way through both layers of paper. Repeat so that you have all five arms with a diamond cut out of them. Now tape over the diamonds so that they are completely covered. Repeat on the other side as well, making sure that all of the diamonds are completely sealed. Use a pencil to poke a hole in the intersection of two of the arms. This is where we're going to insert the straw. Here you can see that it's just big enough to allow that straw to go through. Try not to tear the paper. Once you put in the straw, we need to seal that opening completely with some more tape. Here you can see I've covered it, making sure that no air can escape. We're ready to test it. Making sure that all the holes are sealed, we can now inflate the star and watch the arms move up and down. 